Hi, everybody. Merry Christmas and ho, ho, ho. Today marks a, another episode of my Rachel's Holiday Movie Recaps. Where each week, I talk about movies that are holiday themed that are uh, that have aired in the previous weekend and let you know what I thought. And make sure you check out the Hallmarkies podcast where we talk about most of these movies and give our thoughts. It's super fun uh, in a longer format. So this is a shorter video. And I try to, to talk about some maybe ones that you don't know are Christmas themed or a little bit uh, under the radar that we might not cover over at Hallmarkies. Uh, so the big movie that comes out this weekend in theaters is Spencer. And I bet you didn't know that this is a Christmas movie and it stars Kristen Stewart as Princess Diana. And it's set over the weekend of the holidays where uh, she decides that she is going to leave Prince Charles and you've got all the festivities of Christmas and some of the weird traditions that the royals have, like that they get weighed before the holidays, which is kind of weird. Um, and some other things. This is directed by Pablo Lorraine. And he has a very unique directing style that some people are really going to love the way the camera moves, the way he uses music. I didn't really care for either. But if you liked his film Jackie, then I would imagine that you would like this. It wasn't my favorite, but it's buoyed by a good performance from Kristen Stewart. And it is very unique. And so I definitely recommend checking it out. Decide for yourself what you think of this film. It's definitely going to be a big contender, I think, in the Oscar season. So take a look at that. Then we have The Claws Family. This is on Netflix. And this is a film that out of the Netherlands. It's actually in Flemish originally, but you can get it in a number of different languages uh, dubbed on Netflix, including English. So if you don't want to read the subtitles, then you can listen to it in English. Um, this is a movie about a little boy who finds out that his grandfather is Santa Claus and that maybe his father who has passed away might also be Santa Claus and that there's a whole magic to his family. And this one, it does kind of go all over the place as far as tone. Uh, and so that's a problem, but it had enough Christmas magic for me to marginally recommend it. It was beautifully filmed and everything just sort of sparkles and glows. Uh, so I think it's, it's worth, worth a watch if you're a Christmas movie fan. Okay, then we had on the Peacock Network, we had Much Ado About Christmas, and this is directed by Michael Damien and written by Janine Damien and Michael Damien, and they're great. They actually did one of our patron watch-alongs in May, I think, and they did the Christmas Waltz last year, which I really enjoyed, and the thing about this movie is that it doesn't really have hardly anything to do with uh, Much Ado About Nothing at all, so kind of put that out of your mind. That's something these TV movies do a lot. But uh, I thought that the relationship between the characters and their sort of BFFs were actually better than the relationship between the couple. Uh, it's Terrence Coombs and Susie Abromite, and they were fine. I like them both as actress, actors, uh, but it was really their, their friends and sort of the those relationships that I thought actually were better than the uh, main relationship. This movie is really Christmassy. I mean, there are Christmas trees everywhere. Everything's covered in garland. I mean, even more than in some other Christmas movies. Uh, so it was fun in that way. And basically, and uh, she lies to him of being the heir to this fortune. And then he pitches to her mother. And, and then of course she's upset, like you're dating my daughter. And I didn't know that's kind of the, the plot line is, and I, and that's not my favorite is how could you lie to me or whatever, but nevertheless, there was enough charm in this movie for me to recommend it. And uh, to enjoy it. So then we have for Hallmark, we have four movies uh, for Hallmark. And my favorite of the group was The Christmas Promise. And this stars Tori DeVito and Dylan Bruce. And she plays a woman whose fiance passes away and at the beginning of the movie, and she has to fix up his house and obviously deal with the aftermath of that. And then it, it's, it's a year later and she meets uh, in, in the repair of the house. She meets this guy, Dylan, played with Dylan Bruce, but she's also unrespectingly, unknowingly, uh, he has the same phone number as her, as her fiance had passed away. And so they start communicating and uh, they don't realize that they're emailing, each, they're texting each other, which was really cute. And this movie was so well written. It was so well done. I really enjoyed it. I thought they had great chemistry. And uh, it had a great kiss scene that was perfect. It was so good. 
but I loved that one. Then we had the Coyote Creek Christmas. The stars Ryan Pavey and Janelle Parrish. We're Christmas, and- about Christmas. And we're going to do that that there's a kiddo in this one and he's awesome. And we shot some stuff today that was super adorable. And the Grinch's oh. heart grew five sizes that day. Yes. So oh. it was super cool. It was super cool. <laughs> and she basically is about this woman who comes home, finds out that her parents are selling this in. And she decides to give kind of one last uh, hurrah where they're celebrating the cultures from, uh, they're celebrating the cultures from places all over the world. She meets a Ryan Pavey character who is there to sort of inspect the inn. Um, my problem was just her character. Like her parents have every right to sell the inn. She was kind of annoying to me. I I didn't really get a lot of chemistry between the two of them. The little boy was really cute, and I really liked the side relationship between two women uh, that work at the inn. They were great. Uh, so it wasn't a total loss, but not my favorite. And then we have Christmas in Harmony, and this stars Ashley Murray and Luke James, Loretta Devine, and Michelle Williams. Basically, the Ashley Murray character has put her singing career on hold. When she comes home, her mother finagles her into helping to lead the choir with her ex-boyfriend, who's played by Luke James. And Michelle Williams is one of her clients from where she works. And this one was fine. I, I thought that some of the acting could have been better, but you know, I like Flutter Divine. And Michelle Williams was actually really good and had a lot of music. Uh, some of the music was badly dubbed, and so that was a problem, but overall, it was fine. Uh, and then finally, for the Hallmark Channel, we have Christmas Sale. I was really pumped for this movie because I got to interview both of the leads, Patrick Sabongai. I I cannot be more excited about uh, being in a Christmas movie with this cast. Yeah, I was, I, I did a double take, you know, when the, when the offer came in. I was like, wait, who's starring it? Like the Katie Sackhoff? <laughs> and Terry O'Quinn, uh, yes, please. And Katie Sackhoff, which was super cool. Like if, if you'd taken Starbucks, <laughs> Battlestar, and Locke from Lost and put those two characters together, even that you would have gone like, oh yeah, I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes complete sense. And I think Katie Sackhoff is going to be a great addition to the Hallmark family. She is so bright. She is so lovely. And she's great in this. And she basically plays this woman who uh, comes home and her... Uh, she's divorced. She has a little girl who was adorable in this. And her father is grieving really hard for his wife. And uh, so she kind of needs to help him. And she meets her old flame. And and there's this sailing competition where the prettiest uh, decorated boat wins uh, $25,000. And so she kind of gets invested in that. This one was a little slow at times, but I still thought there was great chemistry and I still overall enjoyed it. Like I said, the little girl was great. I really liked Terry O'Quinn as her dad. That felt real and authentic. And uh, so, yeah, I like this one as well. My favorite of everything from this last weekend was The Christmas Promise. I absolutely loved that movie. So let me know what you think. If you got to see any of these, I would love for your thoughts. Make sure to check out Hallmarkies podcast and, uh, and make sure to like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Also check out the patron group and merch store. We have new holiday designs and we'd sure appreciate your support there. And uh, thanks so much, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.